Ever Oasis is one of the biggest reasons of why I ended up picking up a 2DS XL. It is such a fun game and I am thrilled to share a full review with each and every one of you guys. We're going to cover everything from the story to the gameplay and controls, visuals and audio, even what it's going for nowadays. So if you don't have the slightest clue of what Ever Oasis is about and want to find out, then sit back tight and let's talk about it. Hey guys, what is up? My name is Zap. I go by Zap Crystal. And in this video, like I mentioned earlier, I am prepared to offer you a full review for Ever Oasis. Now in my past episode, I started covering a entire list of must downloads for free to play games, but also ones that you might want to avoid. So definitely check out that episode after watching this. But yes, we're gonna jump into covering everything you need to know before even considering buying Ever Oasis. So with that being said, let's jump into the story of what Ever Oasis is all about. Now, the story of Ever Oasis is simply you building an evergreen oasis in the middle of a desert and being a chief and provider for those weary travelers and soon-to-be residents. Now, all of these soon-to-be residents are creatures that are known as seedlings because they're born with a tiny seed buried deep within their hearts. And as part of that, you are the seed of the great tree where you become ally with a water spirit to be able to create oases. Now, there is an entity called Chaos whose job is to consume souls and turn creatures into monsters. One of your objectives while creating this evergreen oasis is to make sure that you have a rainbow that radiates constantly to keep chaos out and therefore make sure that your residents are happy because happiness is everything in this game. Now your objective is to become a children of the great tree chief and eliminate chaos by building an evergreen oasis. Now, this might sound simple, but it actually isn't as there's quite a lot of things that you need to achieve in this game. So with the story being covered, let's jump into gameplay and controls to show you everything you can do in Ever Oasis. Gameplay and controls, there are quite a few things that you can actually do while playing this game. Now, one of these things is you have what is called a green gel that stands for a strong win. And the motive for this is to be able to eliminate chaos or obstacles that you will find along the way or in your very own oasis. Now note, this green gel will grow stronger as you rank up in the game. Now speaking about these travelers that I mentioned earlier in the story, these travelers will move eventually and they will be registered. And when they're registered, you can actually view their skills and even favorite stuff. You can host festivals and a part of the residence, there are also little creatures that are called nukes. Now these nukes won't become residents, but they can actually buy as you will build shops. And one of your goals and mission is to constantly provide and supply inventory for exchange of happiness and currency as these residents will build shops that are known as bloom booths. Now, another thing that you can do in this game is gardening. And let's say you're not the type of person that actually enjoys doing gardening, then you can actually delegate these roles to your residents in your oasis. So it is that simple. You have multiple options of either doing it yourself or delegating these roles to be time effective with your day. You also own a home in this oasis with several things inside, such as a hammock to be able to save or move forward time. You have a second level, which will let you craft items and armor. And you even have a storage chest where you can optimize your equipment and store all of your things. It actually has an auto option so you can 
optimize your weapons without having to do it manually and it'll set it into the best optimization for you. So that's always a plus. I tend to do that a lot because I just want to move on with the game and not waste my time doing all those things manually or individually. So there's a pro tip for you. Now, another interesting thing about these residents is that they can join or leave your party at any time. So if you are on a mission or you're doing some exploration or you're delegating roles, then they can easily join you, help you get the work done, and then go back to the Oasis so they can continue selling from their bloom booth. Now, remember that I mentioned earlier that happiness is everything. Well, it is literally everything in this game. Now, going back to the bloom booths and them being able to sell, your job, like I mentioned earlier, is to supply inventory so you can keep them happy. So every time a merchandise sells or is restocked, there is a quest gauge that will increase. And once full, the owner will give you a special request that will allow them to level up their bloom booth. There's also a water shrine that is used to level up your oasis as well with the water spirit that you get to become an ally with while building your evergreen oasis. And there's even traveler rumors. Once the residents are established in your oasis, they will share potential seedling spots for the option of inviting them to your oasis. With this comes the expeditions that you will later have the opportunity of organizing teams to the part on quest for resources. Now, another cool thing about this game is that you're not only stuck in your oasis, you're going to do a lot of exploration in unknown lands. And with that comes the battle system itself. So let me cover a little bit about how you can battle in this game. So let's say you're in the desert and you're ready to fight enemies. Well, one is that you can use Y to pull out or put away your weapon. L will be to lock your target. And then your two options as for actions or commands will be A for your light attack and then X for your heavy attack. And then sometimes you're just gonna have to realize that you're not ready to fight them. So therefore put away your weapon and flee as fast as you can. As if you die, you will only have options to warp back to your last save or restart the game all over again. So be wise with who you're gonna battle with and who you're like, no, I should avoid, let me flee. So very important. Now, like I mentioned, a part, a part of being able to battle the monsters, you're gonna do exploration. And a lot of these explorations are inside caves. So you get to explore these caves through story mode. And my best comparison for these caves are if you've played games like Zelda, Majora's Mask, etc., it is very similar. It's very heavy on puzzle solving. You have your boss fights in these caves and in these temples that you get to explore. And there's even different modes, which I will not spoil, of course, but it will involve you forming teams and forming parties where you can play with them and not go solo entirely on your own. So there is a lot of stuff to do when you're outside of your oasis. Now, another thing that will happen once you come back from the trip or expedition that you went out on is that you will be able to level up as every time you battle, you will accumulate experience. So there will be experience gained, but also your residence happiness is everything as you will have what is called a smile meter. And this will help you in your HP, in your health, and also in keeping you protected while you're outside of the oasis. Now let's talk about the menu itself and the layout and how they've organized everything to make the gameplay easier in Ever Oasis. So for your menu layout at the bottom center, you will have two options. You have the option to do fast travel, which is amazing because if you're tight 
in a spot and you want to go back to the oasis you can actually fast travel back to your home or to different warp points that you have created in the game also you have an option that is called bloom booth which is kind of like your building mode as you open this you will be able to help the seedlings and your residents to build more shops but also other things that will make your oasis attractive to outside travelers so there is a simple building mode and of course it requires currency in order to be able to build as for the menu, the menu has multiple options, some that are just quicker access to things that you need to do. So like for example, you have status, which lets you see the basics, lets you see your equipment, the skills that you had, and your weapon actions. You also have a residence, which simply shows all of the residents that you now have living in your oasis. You also have the build mode, which is the same as your bloom booth. You have recipes that you can unlock. You have things which are simply the stuff you accumulate that you can sort or you can see to see what you have in stock and what you don't. You have your resident requests, which they will make from time to time for you to fulfill in order to level up the bloom booths or to even give them the opportunity of becoming a resident. And you have options, which is simply a way to adjust your camera, which offers you two modes, which is normal or reverse. So you have those options when it comes to the camera for the game. Now, another thing that you have that you will use a lot is your map. And your map is an icon that you can find at the bottom left. So if you're not sure where you are, you can simply access your map to pinpoint potential soon to be residents or to mark where you need to go. So we covered a good chunk of the gameplay and controls and now it is time to jump into visuals and audio. Let's cover first visuals and then later on we will talk about the audio for this game. So as for visuals, it has this sprite-like fantasy creatures within an ancient Egyptian aesthetic. It has available a 3D feature, so if you're playing this on your 3DS XL, you can be able to turn on easily this 3D feature to be able to enjoy it. Now, something that I wanted to point out is that it was interesting to see that the developers stated that some features in the battle system were carried over from the Mana series. So it's a combination between Final Fantasy, Mana series, and even Zelda. As you all know, or you probably don't know, the developer that created Ever Oasis actually worked on these projects. So he decided to combine all of these games that you probably enjoy into a unique battle system for Ever Oasis. So I think that it definitely shows while you're playing the game, the grand influence that it's carried over from these other amazing games. As for the palette and for the colors and for the art style itself, it is it goes very, very well. It has these very bold colors that makes each environment stand out. And when it comes to emphasizing chaos, I think they did it, they went very well with the purplish and black and and just dark colors to show how bad this influence is compared to the rest of the colors that it's known throughout the entire game of Oasis. So it's, it's very bold and very different from what Fantasy Life has to offer, for example. Now, when it comes to the audio, again, just like Fantasy Life, the audio is on point. It is so well done, and even if you're not playing the game, it is definitely something that is very enjoyable to leave and listen to in the background. You know, from the oasis itself to the desert, to different environments, even the caves itself when you go into exploration. Again, just like Fantasy Life, I wanna point out that I love how they made a difference 
from night and day when it comes to the soundtrack. You know, you know when it's nighttime, it's very chill, it's very soothing compared to the day where it's, it's very amped up, ready to go for explorations. So I love that. And then it hints you obviously when there's enemies near you where you're in danger or you're ready to jump into a boss fight, the music quickly changes also to alert you of, hey, get ready to fight. So the audio is, I think that for a 3DS game is magnificent. Uh, it's, it's up there with fantasy life for me as well. So yes, I love what they've done. And I think it really shows the passion and the love put into Ever Oasis. So we've covered visuals and audio. Let's jump into the value now and what the game is currently going for if you're deciding to pick it up. All right, guys, we're ready to jump into the value and how much this game is currently going for. Now, all of the prizes that I'm going to show in this video is for US region only. So if you're looking for a copy CIB complete in box, this is going for $66. And if you don't mind looking for it loose, then you will pay around $46 for it. And if you're looking for it sealed, new, unopened, then it's currently going for $74. All right, so for my final verdict with Ever Oasis, I have to say that this was one of the very first games I got to play when I picked up a 2DS XL as my birthday gift. And I have to say it did not disappoint me at all. As I 100% completed this game, but even finishing the game, I always have the opportunity to even go back and replay it again differently or go through a different route of completing even more things that they have to offer, such as challenges that you can try to battle and optimize your skills. So if you're into RPGs and adventure games and you enjoy games like Final Fantasy, the Mana series, Zelda games, then you're definitely going to have a blast with Ever Oasis. Let me know in the comments below if you currently own it, if you've played it, what are your thoughts? Would you recommend it? And let's share all together as one big community. Coming up next week, I have more content regarding to my 3DS and offering you a full update of where the collection is and what is currently going on. I will see y'all in the next one. Stay rad, beautiful peeps, and game on.